Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley, and today I thought we would do some easy DIY Halloween treats. This is mainly gonna be for the kids, but of course I'm gonna have some too. I really wanted to make just something fun and easy for the kids, especially since it's getting closer to Halloween. We love doing scary movie nights on the weekend, so I thought these would be the perfect treats for tonight. So I'll be sharing how to do these super easy treats with you guys. All of these are super easy because they're gonna come from like boxed brownies or cake, and then we're gonna decorate to make them look super cute. So hopefully this video can give you some inspiration to make some super easy treats at home. Let me know if you do, comment down below, or tag me on Instagram if you make any. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Ashley, I am a stay-at-home mom to four, and on my channel, I create tons of motherhood content like vlogs, shop with me's, recipes, get it all done, a little bit of cleaning motivation, and so much more, so I would love to have you here. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. So let's go ahead and hop right into this video. So the first treat I have for you guys is probably my favorite ones. They are Hocus Pocus brownies and bat brownies. And to make this super simple, I just went ahead and got the box brownies that comes with the chocolate frosting. That way you have it for decorating your books. You're gonna prepare your brownie mix as directed on the box. So now that I have my brownies all nice and cut up and cute, I had two different ideas for these. I really should have made like a bigger pan and um, like thinner brownies, that way I could have made more, but that's okay. They're still gonna look really cute. They're just gonna be thick brownies. So I have a bat idea and last year I made these Hocus Pocus books. So we're gonna make both of those. So whenever I was out shopping, it was really hard to find the eyeball sprinkles. So if you guys struggled finding eyeball sprinkles, I will show you guys a way to make eyeball with items they most likely have around the house or for sure you can find at the store. So all you need are the miniature marshmallows and chocolate chips. So all you would do is stand your marshmallow up, take your chocolate chip with the pointy side down and just press it into your marshmallow and then you have a cute little eyeball but since I have eyeballs I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyeballs but that's just a way to make them if you can't find these sprinkles but so I picked up the brownies that came with the frosting and I saved it that way I could make the hocus pocus books so we're gonna take this chocolate frosting and we're just kind of going to drizzle it a little bit on the book to decorate it and then we're gonna use a little drop of it to um, stick the sprinkle onto the book. Now that the Hocus Pocus books are done, we're gonna make the bats and all you need are some Oreo cookies or any sort of chocolate cookie. So we're gonna need to take out the cream and just use the cookie and we're gonna cut the cookie as best as we can in half and it's gonna be for each little wing. So then we will use a little bit of frosting in the front of the wings and then put on its little eyeballs.
Oh my goodness, those brownies look so adorable. They would be perfect for like a Halloween party or just for your kids, like just super simple, but so adorable. Next, we're gonna be making cake pops. So these are the ingredients you're gonna need. Super simple, mix up your cake mix like you typically would. I went ahead and got the white one and tried to only use egg whites, which a little bit of the yolk got in there, but I wanted to do the white cake, that way I could color it. Coloring your cake batter is not a necessity, but the kids love colored cake. So I went ahead and colored them orange, purple, and green that way it was a little bit Halloween colored and after you bake your cake like usual you're going to shred up your cake just kind of mix it with your fingers or with a fork and once it's nice and shredded up you're going to add in some frosting you want to add slowly because you don't want it too mushy so I just added a scoop of frosting, mixed it until it was the right consistency. You just wanna be able to form a ball, but you don't want it too overly sticky. So once you're able to form them into balls, you're gonna roll them into about palm size balls, and then you're going to pop them into the freezer for about 10 minutes or so. That way they get nice and cold because when you put your chocolate on the outside of them, you want it to be cold enough for it to, you know, get nice and hard. So after they're nice and cooled down, you're gonna go ahead and mix up your chocolate. I'm using white chocolate, that way I could color it. So I put in my chocolate in 30 second intervals in the microwave with a little bit of coconut oil. And if you're doing your cake pops on a stick, you don't have to put them on a stick. They could just be cake balls. But if you're doing the stick, you just want to dip it into the frosting and then stick it inside your cake ball. It just helps it stay put and in place while you're dipping it in the chocolate. If you have styrofoam, that is ideal. I did not have any styrofoam and it's not like these were supposed to be professional. I'm just a mom trying to make cute treats for my kids. So I just laid them on parchment paper um, to get hard. But if you have some sort of styrofoam, you could stick your um, stick into then you could stand them up that way they would you know be perfect balls mine just were a little bit flat on one side but you guys these were so delicious i went ahead and crushed some oreos and put them on the outside of some of them and then i just did the halloween themed sprinkles the kids loved these they were so delicious they were definitely a little bit time consuming but so worth it How'd those cake pops turn out? Good. Yeah? <laughs> Is it yeah. good? Yeah. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be making dirt pudding, which to make this Halloween themed, I picked up these really cool bloody bone sprinkles from Target. They were so cool looking and I thought would look amazing in our pudding. So I went ahead and made some Dove chocolate pudding, followed the directions, mixed it up, and then I crushed some Oreos to put on top. And I just use my meat chopper to crush the Oreos and it worked perfectly. It was so easy and it chopped them up, you know, amazingly. So that was a definite must have for chopping up cookies. It made it so much quicker than me trying to do it by hand. But I'm gonna top the pudding with my Oreo crumbles and then I'm going to add some gummy worms in it and then top it with those really cool bloody sprinkles. They also had like bigger gumball eyes. They didn't have any the last time I went to Target but that would also be something cool to add into the dirt as well. Maybe to put like all the way at the bottom so when they get to the bottom of the pudding they have a gumball 
but these were super cute and simple you guys it literally took minutes to throw these together and my kids absolutely loved them So for this next treat, it's kind of for adults, but I saw a picture of it online and thought it was so adorable. There wasn't like any instructions. So I'm just going to try to recreate it, but it is jalapeno poppers that look like mummies. So we're gonna go ahead, attempt to make these. They look super cute and I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. So all you're gonna need is some bacon, jalapenos, cream cheese, and your eyeball sprinkles, and some crescent rolls. And since the crescent rolls don't take too long to cook in the oven, and I don't wanna have a hard crunchy pepper, what I'm gonna do is boil my jalapenos just for a little bit to soften them up. That way when we put them into the oven, it'll be soft when the crescent roll is fully cooked. So I went ahead, chopped up my jalapenos in the picture they left the stem on it but i'm just going to take it off because i want to be able to eat the whole pepper <laughs> so after i took out the seeds that way it wouldn't be you know too spicy i boiled them for a few minutes and then i'm going to mix in my cooked bacon with my cream cheese i just microwaved the cream cheese for about 15 seconds to soften it up so i could mix it together a little bit easier and then i stuffed my peppers and then what I did with my crescent rolls is I kind of mushed the seam together so it would form a bigger piece. So I had two crescent rolls together and I would cut them into strips and I used two strips per jalapeno. I almost ran out at the end so you might want to pick up a second roll of crescent rolls if you want a little bit more breading on yours. But you guys these were so delicious. My husband loved them like he was blown away the ones that i saw in the picture didn't have bacon but to make them more of a jalapeno popper i wanted to add the bacon into them and then to make them halloween themed after you get done baking them at 350 for about 15 minutes that's how long mine took you're just gonna add your little eyeball sprinkles to them and they were just so adorable i freaking love these this would be perfect for a halloween party or to bring to you know like an, for an appetizer they were just super cute The next treat I'm making are these super adorable ghost chocolate covered pretzels. These were a hit, you guys. They were gone within minutes after I got done making them. They were so good and so simple to make. So what I did was take almost an entire pack of white chocolate and I added in a lot of coconut oil. White chocolate gets a little bit stiffer when you microwave it and try to melt it. So you need a lot of oil to just help it be more runny and not super thick so keep that in mind when you're mixing up your white chocolate so i microwaved it in 30 second intervals and then i'm going to dip my pretzels into them i used one of those sticks from when i made the cake pops just so i could stick it through the bottom part of the pretzel i wanted it to look like a mouth so i needed to make sure there was no chocolate in the bottom hole and then the two top holes it was fine if there was a bunch of chocolate because that's where we were going to be putting the M&Ms. So you simply just put the M&Ms in place for the eyes while your chocolate is still wet. And then you just pop these into the refrigerator for a couple minutes. They, they get cold super quick and they are ready to eat. These were so simple to make yet so delicious. They were a huge hit. Definitely try these out. I just thought they were too adorable. 
last but not least is this spooky hot chocolate. You can also do this for your coffee to top it. It would be a super cute idea, but all you're gonna need is some heavy whipping cream, hot chocolate sprinkles, and if you would like some food coloring, I'm gonna be using orange to make it more Halloween themed. And you're gonna pour about a fourth to a third cup of heavy whipping cream into a mixer, and you're gonna mix it up until it becomes a whipped cream consistency, adding in a few drops of your food coloring if you'd like. And if you would prefer a sweeter whipped cream, go ahead and add some powdered sugar, maybe a little bit of vanilla extract. But since I was gonna be topping it with sprinkles and hot chocolate is pretty sweet itself, I kept this a pretty plain whipped cream, but feel free to add some sweeteners into yours. So once that becomes the whipped cream consistency, you're gonna set it aside, go ahead and heat up your water or your milk, whatever you prefer for your hot chocolate. Today I'm using water and then you're going to put into your little piping bag or your Ziploc bag like me, your whipped cream so you can squeeze it on top. Of course, if you just want to plop it on top of there, that would be a whole lot easier, but to make this aesthetically pleasing, I went ahead and used this little piper and you're going to mix up your hot chocolate into your warmed up water. I'm using my little handheld mixer, I love this thing. I, you can even use it to make the whipped cream if you have it, but that's also a great option. So once it's all mixed together, you're gonna top it with your whipped cream, add your spooky sprinkles, and you have a super cute dessert idea for your kids. Or like I said, you can top your coffee with this. It is bringing all of the fall and Halloween vibes. It turned out so adorable and it was so quick and easy to make. I really hope you guys enjoyed all of these Halloween treat ideas. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload every three days, bringing you tons of new motherhood content, shop with me's recipes, and so much more. So I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.